you commented about this thing about um, you know the generalizable skill and what what could people do with Olympiads afterwards. So that's actually my interest in the whole thing. Uh, I don't. I mean, I, I don't just coach students how to do problems. In fact, I'm not even the best person for that. I'm not the best at solving these problems. Uh, there are other people who are much better at making problems and teaching people how to solve problems. In fact, when I was, uh, when, when the Mathematical Association of America, which is the group which is in charge of the U.S. participation in these Olympiads, when they were deciding whether or not to put me in um, back in 2013 as the head coach, I had a conversation with their executive director where I commented that uh, we might do worse because my position was, I don't, I mean, I, I actually didn't want to focus on winning. I said, if you're going to let me work with 60 very strong minds as yeah. picked through this system, because the, the coach works with these, gets to run a camp for these students. Mm -hmm. I said, I, I'm actually not going to define my success in terms of winning this contest. I said I wanted to maximize the number of the students that I read about in the New York Times <laughs> in 20 years. Uh, yeah. And the executive director of the Mathematical Association of America was uh, fully in support of this because that's also how their philosophy is. So in America, the way we run this is we're actually not just training to win, even though the students are very good and they can win anyway. One reason, for example, I went and even did the COVID thing involving quite a few of them is so that hopefully some of them get ideas. Because in 20, 30 years, I won't have the energy or the insight to solve problems. We'll have another catastrophe. And hopefully some of these people will step up and do it. <laughs> and ultimately have that long-term impact. I wonder if this is scalable to, because that's such a great metric for education, not how to get an A on the test, uh, but how to have how to be on the cover of New York Times for inventing something new? And I, I, do you think that's generalizable to education beyond just this particular Olympia? Like, it's it, even you saying this feels like a rare statement, almost like a radical statement as a goal for education. So, actually, the way I teach my classes at Carnegie Mellon, which I will admit right away is not equivalent to the average in the world, but yeah. it's already not. It's already not just the top 60 in the country as picked by something. Um, let me just explain. I, I have exams in my class, which are 90% of the grade. So the exams are the whole thing, or most of the whole thing. And the way that I let students prepare for the exams is I show them all the problems I've ever given on the previous exams. Mm -hmm. And the, whole, the exam that they will take is open notes. They can take all the notes they want on the previous problems. And the guarantee is that the exam problems this time will have no overlap with anything you have seen me give in the past, <laughs> as well as no overlap with anything I taught in the class. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, so the entire exam is invention. Wow. But wow. that's how I go, right? My, my point is, I have explained to people, when I teach <laughs> you, I don't want you to have remembered a method I showed you. I want you to have learned enough about this area that if you face a new question, which I came up with the night before, by thinking about like, what could I ask that I have never asked before? Oh, that's cute. I wonder what the answer is. Aha, that's an exam problem. That's exactly what I do before the <laughs> exam. Uh, and then that's what I want them to learn. Yeah. And the first exam, usually people have a rough time because it's like, what, what kind of crazy class is this? The professor doesn't teach you anything for the exam. But then by the second or third, and by the time they finish the class, they have learned how to solve anything in the area. How to invent. How to invent in that area, yeah.